All right, so we should be moving into our next match rather quickly. Just need to find out which one we are going to cover here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be Australia versus Latvia. All right. Which is another really important match because this will decide the second seed of their group. Uh, Australia being uh, the second uh, seed in the group currently, um, and Latvia the third seed. But now it's important who will advance to the next stage of the tournament. Oh, I do like this song that they've got playing here, but it looks like we're going to the next um, uh, warm up here. Oh, it actually is going to be Chocobo. And Box is uh, rolling with the easy mod. Chocopo, one of the more well-known maps, older maps, mostly because it's actually pretty insanely mapped uh, for an old map. It uh, starts off actually pretty tame, but uh, you know, adding the lower portrait on top of everything is gonna make it hard and low CS. But the ending has just so many uh, squares and so many. Uh, sharp angles that which pretty much gives this map the cult status it has. Oh yeah. Because people who play a little bit of a fun different. fact for this one too. I, if I'm not mistaken this is an MTMCL map, correct? Um and no, um well definitely from the box um the boxy style of this map definitely reminds me of that and um one of the reasons why these things are so hard is, like um, you said, Fours, it's the approach rate, really, that really gets people, as the map itself isn't really too difficult, but that slow approach rate can really trip you up. Indeed, and then the spacing at the ending is gonna just amplify the difficulty of the approach rate in reading. Just look at the spacing here. Uh, we definitely can see uh, the difference between players who are somewhat used to these kind of maps and others who are absolutely not. There's a really clean divide between those two types of players. Yeah, and as you can see, we're seeing a lot of uh, fluke misses here. Um, Box trying to play with easy. Oh, I didn't notice that till just now. Easy actually makes this map a little bit more manageable uh, because most players already know the map a little bit by, by seeing it so many times. So easy isn't gonna make it too uh, much more difficult because of the increased CS. But yeah, that actually will be a win by Latvia in, in, in the Chocobo warm-up map. <laughs> Even though they got a DD. I'm joined now by one of Australia's highest level players. In fact, the highest level player, Tokishi. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's the second one is going to be uh, the interview um, from Tokichi. The background story behind this map, uh, at least uh, behind this audio clip, is that Tokichi, formerly a uh, an Australian player, the number one Australian player, um, got interviewed by a local uh, news group, uh, some kind of uh, group, or maybe even a gaming group. I'm not entirely sure. And <laughs> this, is, this is the snippet. This is the snippet of the tournament uh, of of the of the interview, and 
Yeah. I have no comments on that. And that's Tokichi, ladies and gentlemen. Joined now by one of Australia's in fact the highest level player. How's it going? Oh god, that was amazing! Unfortunately, this isn't too irrelevant to Australia anymore because Tokichi did uh, the ports to China. He left Australia behind. Oh man. Quality map, guys. Well, that, that's exactly what I like to see from Australia. Well, yeah, now we'll get the overhead out of the way of rolling and bearing. For now, Seatro, who do you think will win this? Hmm, that's a really good one here. Um, I'd like to say that Australia might have it. I haven't seen too much of Lat Latvia's play. So, I hope that, um, now, some names on Latvia's side, like Wayworm, um, and Forcine, definitely are familiar faces to me, so... We have seen them play before, but Australia's been getting really strong as of late. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a very close match here, but I'm going to put my money on Australia at this moment. All right, then I'm just going to put my money, uh, for fairness sake, on Latvia. Because I would argue that Latvia, unfortunately, only has a four-man team. is pretty limited in their approach to it, but they do have really good quality players. Um, like Emil and Jesus Christ, even though they might not be uh, too familiar for most people, they are really good and have shown that they are extremely good in other tournaments. But Australia, definitely, I agree, has gotten really strong. And it's going to be an uphill battle for Latvia. But... Um, I still believe in my Latvian homeboys here. Jesus Christ, a good friend of mine. So I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I have to root for them. Oh man. But yeah, I, I believe Australia's um, approach to this match should be that uh, Latvia's uh, disadvantage of having only four players, four people playing, really. That's gonna be the important part to attack. Because you have people uh, who are not necessarily good at approach at eight, and you force them to pretty much play it. But obviously you're gonna need approach at eight players for that. So as long as Australia has the uh, right key components, they, they need, they can, or the right tools to use against Latvia, that's gonna be plenty to win this. All right, and it looks like we're going with FI for our first pick here which is a free mod pick so we should see a lot of mod play here and this is a good way to gauge like australia very good pick on their end that's a good way to gauge the mod play from latvia you know you, you go into it with a free mod and you're gonna see what they play from and like you said they've only got the four rosters so right here this is a good way to gauge what they're comfortable in doing I'm gonna expect a hardware coming in from Jesus Christ and then potentially a hidden by Fosin or a hardware by Fosin. Might even be a Muller coming from the other side and going hard work. But on the Australian side, I believe the reason why they picked this is because they played this map so many times so far and have performed wonderfully on it. Box, for example, is seeing with only four 100s. And one of these uh, rather weird spelled names like Uiguti or It's Gui Gui or something, you know, these two low, uh, two Australian players in the lower part of the screen. Uh, one of them has I've seen the map with only half uh, on four 100s, which is absolutely nuts, actually. So they're really comfortable with this kind of map. And I don't even know how to pronounce these two Australian players. That's really awkward to, to pronounce. It's even more awkward than my name. Um, I want to say the first, the one on the right is if you, and then, um, you get it. I, I, I don't know. That that is actually 
we're gonna need some, some, uh, I don't know, we're gonna need yeah, some I, I feel information. Like, uh, I feel like Loctav has it right. Gibberish in reverse gibberish. Yeah, I actually feel like I'm, I'm kind of missing the choke. There's gotta be some kind of choke behind the name. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to expect that only two mods coming in from both teams rather than over modding to four mods or something because I don't think they will necessarily need this on this map. The BMS FI map is just 180 BPM streams all around and then transitioning from those streams into uh, kick sliders, which are a lot chumpier. So you're going to have these extreme contrast of just following the streams perfectly and then going to the kick sliders. Also noteworthy aspect of the map is that it is CS3. Yes, and it looks like we are going to actually see Hard Rock plays two Hard Rock players on Latvia's side and two on Australia's side. So, mod-wise, we are, you know, pretty equal. Uh, Dummy is actually going to see a early drop, which isn't too bad there, as they're one of the no-mod players that's going to hurt them a little bit less than if it was one of their Hard Rock mods. Indeed, I mean, just look at the stellar accuracy from the bottom left Australian player. I'm not going to pronounce his name anymore. <laughs> at least I'm not going to try. Well, we do see Jesus Christ and Emula going for the hard rock. Yeah. This uh, map is pretty chill for the most part. The streams are very flowy. That's one nice thing about Charles maps. The most problem you might have here is that these um, uh, one half, well, one fourth sliders that are set in jumps here are usually, um, they, they're made with slider leniency in mind. So score V2 does make it a little bit harder to combo here as we see a lot of people drop on the slider transition. It looks like Box was the only one to drop there for that last transition though. Indeed, uh, those kick slides are definitely a pain to deal with. Oh, so many breaks coming from the left hand side at the end. All right, so that is going to be a victory for Australia winning their first pick. And the MVP of that map was Ugiri. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call him. With uh, a million fifty-seven thousand one hundred points. Ugiri, you did it. MVP. Ugidi. All right, that's actually pretty decent to pronounce. So Ugiri and reverse Ugiri. That's just how I'm going to call the second one. Uh, it's it's you. And then you get it. That's that's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm, gonna, that's <laughs> that's how I'm gonna. That's really decent. That's a decent approach and a decent try at, at the name pronunciation. Yeah, like it. which is absolutely hilarious because nine times out of ten I'm mispronouncing names. <laughs> yeah, at, at least at least that's a really good effort on on that part. Better than trying to pronounce some Japanese uh, titles. <laughs> I, <laughs> Thank God the next map is going to be a uh, still a Japanese song, but it's going to be an English title. Thank God for that, because it's going to be Dreamwalker. <laughs> Dreamwalker by Ritter, um, which is, I, I believe the producer is going to be Taishi, and Taishi makes some really cool songs. Like he's, Taishi is this, uh, just as a fun fact, guy behind most of the background noise you hear. Rita is just gonna be the singer. But Teichi makes some really interesting uh, songs with all the background uh, instruments coming together. But this is gonna be a swipe map, five stars. 
approach it 9.1 just I believe to be edgy because why not and uh, OD 8.9 because you know you never want to have round numbers why why should you and the important part about this map is the um, length because it's four minutes long adding to the fact to that that it's OD 9 uh, and it's actually pretty easy from some weird uh, jumps uh, and really big jump increases reminding me of the 1 of K Rock remake map so those are things to watch out for yeah I... hey no get off me bad kitty sorry about that <laughs> ooh 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 kitty probably hear, heard the producer Taishi and was like yeah I want a piece of that Well, that's gonna be interesting. This is a Nomad pick um, coming in from Team Latvia. People, uh, even though players like Jesus Christ are most familiar with the Hunted mod, I believe maybe something as in free mod might also be a good avenue to attack on for Latvian side. But if they prepare this pick, then the more power to them. Alright, and uh, I believe uh, Seatrot has officially died and this cat has taken over. Yeah, what is a PSR? Hopefully he should have his... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry, I apologize. No, it's not a cat, it's kittens. I just got swarmed. I'm guessing they got let out of the uh, den, so I gotta go put them back up before they cause problems. I will be right back. Right, um, right, in, until then... Fours will keep you guys updated. Deadbeat will be there for backup. Very interesting match here. I hope to see. I'm, well, I'm definitely going to still be watching. I just got to take care of small meows. All right. So while Peter is knocking on Secret's door, we're going to keep on uh, looking at the match, which is hopefully going to start anytime soon. And there we go. There are some patterns to look out for, which is, uh, for example, a really big jump at the bottom part of the screen, out of nowhere, actually. Uh, even though the song is mostly really, really calm, it's a drum and bass song and pretty much stays on the same notes. Perhaps a few ups and downs there, but more downs than ups, really. Um, but there are some really interesting patterns coming in. Swipe has definitely tried to get his creativity going for this map, rather than just keeping the same spacing uh, on the drum and bass map. I believe we do see an early miss coming in by Foreseen. But that's not gonna be too much of a deal because of the length of the map. Yeah, I think this is one of the longer Nomad picks, so there's plenty of time to come back. Indeed, playing these kind of maps is always really stressful because... Uh, um, it's it's really important to keep uh, on top of your game, like the it, It's If guy. Uh, or it's guy, you. Uh, it's Q. It was. I believe. I forgot. I need Citra to pronounce these names for me. It's Q has already missed, and that might just uh, pack a punch at his uh, motivation and just in his confidence for the rest of the map. You know, tilting on the map is a real thing. And we do see another miss by Weber. Australian side is lacking a few combos. And a miss by Foreseen in the first third, or after the first third of the map. He still has some opportunities to build up a combo. But he did miss right before the really slow part, which would be pretty much free combo.
going by into the second half of the map. It's just going to be plenty of the same uh, patterns again. Uh, missing at this point in the map is going to be the worst thing you can do because you're going to get the lowest combo possible. And the higher combo is, the more worth it is, even on score 2. The most points out of combo you get is uh, by the last few circles, and we do see Waven uh, miss. And I think as long as Australia is going to keep the uh, combo advantage and is not going to miss, that's going to be their win. enjoy this calming song even though it's actually a really stressful situation for most of these players another two misses coming in from Latvia which is uh, from Jesus Christ and Waver it's gonna seal the deal and it's gonna give Australia the uh, advantage and the pick with high certainty There are a few uh, awkward slider timings at the end, dropping some accuracies, but I don't think it'll be enough to warrant some combo drops. Except for the jump right there, for it's going, it's Q. The pick has unfortunately backfired for Team Latvia. They definitely need something else to come with Australia. Now it's gonna be another pick of Australia, and uh, they definitely they do have the Ross advantage that they can just uh, swap out any players necessarily to uh, get the best possible lineup for the song. While on Latvia they are forced to play with these four people. But judging by the history of uh, Australia, I would imagine a normal pick is going to follow suit. Oh, and Jesus Christ with the biased uh, statement is going to come in. Oh, I thank you very much, Jesus Christ. You're, you're getting yourself another fan. Yeah, but, but this is on the level of, you know, your mom rooting for you. Because Jesus Christ is a fan, uh, is a friend, and that's pretty much why he's forced to be a fan. Hey man, a plus one is a plus one. <laughs> you, you do have a point. Well, that's actually gonna be Utopia, which is a hard rock pick uh, in this current lineup. Uh, good choice to, because uh, the Australian side is really strong in terms of hard rock. Yeah, Utopia is a very fun map as well. Not and long I, we've seen that much of there. Yeah, we have not seen too much of it, which is unfortunate. It is currently yeah. a piece. I believe. And it's gonna follow suit from one drone day song to the next one. Another really calm song, even though this is a really stressful situation. I mean, who knows? Uh, Latvia might just uh, chill and uh, enjoy this moment, this occasion to play in the old WC. Yeah, um, and I do apologize for that uh, sudden absence. Sorry to leave you hanging there, Fours. <coughs> I just had a um, uh, kitty trip kitty problem no problem i understand 
And so it looks like Australia secured that second point while I was away, huh? Indeed, uh, the pick backfired because of some early misses by Foseen and then late miss by Jesus Christ and Waven. While the Australian side did hold more combos but wasn't really up to par either. It was just two FCs against uh, one. Yeah, that is unfortunate. It, it always sucks to get a broke point on your pick. Indeed. Uh, uh, but you, who knows? Uh, also, Latvia definitely looked better last year around and the uh, years before that. So this might be just accepting the inevitable uh, by losing soon. I mean, it's the same for Austria. Uh, my team also has the same situation where we only have five people in the team. And yeah, it's, it's really awkward trying to swap out people where the fifth player is uh, not really uh specialized in anything and is is just there because he got picked immediately because of having no other choice so stuff like that just kind of happens because not enough people register even though you have a bunch of players in your country so guys next year just come out there and register even if you think you might not make it at least you might look, uh, make your country look like it has more players than four in latvia's case very true like even if you're just a bench warmer, there's still that chance you might find a map that you just own at. And that could be uh, all the difference from making it through group stage to seeing the round of 16. Indeed. I mean, four digit players shouldn't be underestimated because they definitely can show uh, progress on, on these kind of maps. What's coming into this map? It's going to be the 100 pick. Lots of early accuracy drops to be understood, uh, completely understandable because uh, you gotta get used to the BPM and the approach rate. It's just uh, the nature of tournaments swapping from so many different maps. Very much so. And this this song without Hard Rock is very easy to double S. So adding Hard Rock in there, I could see it creating a little bit of difficulty here, but we are seeing most of the people here holding relatively high accuracies. Um, Australia, while holding decent combo there for a little bit, uh, their accuracy did dip, and this might be a chance for Latvia to come back. Indeed, uh, I mean, these, these early drops, uh, just one drop more from the Latvian side is going to give them the win. Congratulations to Australia getting the third point and being on match points now. Uh, the match points and... Uh, It'll be Latvia's pick, I believe. Yeah, and um, if Australia keeps this up, we will see a, a clean sweep this morning. Yeah, and the problem is Latvia can't really pick anything except fun map, really, because uh, in, in the different terms of skill sets, they always lack a few people which are good at it. For example, if you want to pick a Pro Shot 8, you might have Waven and Foreseen perform really well on it, but then you have Jesus Christ and Muller struggling on it. And those kind of situations on all the different maps aren't, isn't going to make the ideal perfect pick for Latvia. Yeah, that 50-50 split is just unfortunate. In that aspect, because like you said, you know, you've got... You've got two of them that are okay with AR8, and then you have two that aren't... Oh, come on, come on, Kitty, no. And then maybe with a kitty. Yeah, well, this one's my actual big cat. It's not a kitten. She's just... Come on. Well, at uh, least you have a fan t-shirt. Ah, ah, shit! Apologize. I just got caught up. Owie. No, oh, no, no, I AFK this time, guys. I just, uh... I just got slashed in the chest and now, now she's gone no problem <laughs> Ow. all right no problem she just wanted to uh, assert dominance no problem but latvia is also trying to assert dominance over this match trying to get the do dominance back and they're trying to go for the approach of eight pick actually um i don't know this is this is really risky as i mentioned previously it's not perfect <clears throat> for the latvian side because they need some more specialized people for this And look at Australia, just 
swapping all the players out who are not comfortable on approach late. Um, yeah, that's just gonna show a lot of the Australian side of things. Yeah, Australia doing incredibly well here, and uh, Skyclad is definitely one of them kind of maps where anything can happen. Indeed, but we do have some really good uh, lower approach players like Fox, for example. I think he has seed this map pretty much every time, or at least uh, almost has seed it every time they played it so far. And despite this being approach date, it's really popular. No, who would have thought actually? Most of the community hates low approach rates and uh, just low approach rates in general in, all, in a high level. But in the tournament settings, they're one of the most, uh, one of the most popular picks. But that's just because of the nature of it all, because so many people dislike approach rates, so you can take advantage of it and uh, it, it doesn't matter if you're not perfect on it, it, should, it just matters as long as you're better than the enemies on it. Yeah, this should be pretty interesting here. All right, potentially the last uh, match, or last uh, map for the Latvian side, and, and Australian side, I believe. Alright, so we're just uh, getting ready for everybody to ready up here. Uh, lots of good sportsmanship going on between Australia and Latvia though. Everybody's saying good luck, have fun, you know. And that's great. I, I love to see matches where we have good sports, you know. Every once in a while, it's unfortunate, but you can have sore winners. And that is never really a great thing. So it's awesome that every World Cup we've seen as the years go by, it seems to be more and more civil, which is fantastic in my opinion. Indeed, indeed. Uh, that's also one of the most uh, important things, I believe, in, in the entire tournament scene, or at least that's why I play tournaments, is because you know so many people, you get to know people, and you just say hi and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't work as well with uh, some Asian teams. Um, but uh, they actually, players like on the Chinese side, uh, and Taiwanese side are actually opening up to the community. Previously, they were just pretty much shut in into their own kind of borders, I guess you could say. But nowadays, they're opening a lot, up, up a lot, and actually, you know, a, a part of the memes currently, which are ringing over the entire force. Man, Forz is from somebody from back in 2008. I can definitely tell you uh, that is like one of the best things: the diversity and more open-minded towards the entire uh, game, not just the mapping scene, but the cre uh, tournament scene, everything is seen a lot more uh, global contributions from everybody now. And that makes it a lot better. And yes, like you said, everybody's taking part in the memes now. Everybody's included. And that's great. We will see a drop from Weber and Lunaris there. Amula also dropping, but that's still gonna leave the lead in favor of Australia. Yeah, but the combo advantage is a little bit in Australia, just because the way runs really early miss, but for seen with the double S currently. We do see this struggling by Emula and Jesus Christ currently. Yeah, Emula will find another miss there. And that is quite unfortunate for Latvia, they're trying to prevent a complete shutout here. Uh, Foreseen doing a very excellent job here. Wayward also holding a very high accuracy. But unfortunately, the consistency on Australia's side is just a little bit too strong. Indeed, it seems like uh, accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior isn't enough for the Latvian team. They <laughs> definitely need more than that.
pretty much in the series the deal currently. The Australian side is proving to be really strong on these kind of picks. It could be definitely stronger, but it's enough for the group stage approach to the 8th map against Latvia. And that is going to be a clean sweep for Australia there. Very impressive plays from everybody around. And it just goes to show Latvia gave it their all, but being limited to the four-member team definitely seems to be hurting them here. Indeed, it's a foe. Well, it might have looked really different if Latvia had a few more players to swap in for certain picks. But good luck to Latvia next year, where they have potentially even more fresh blood to uh, to get to get uh, even further into the tournament tree. And Jesus uh, Christ, uh, currently talking about how his mom came into the room and put a hot plate on his on his hand. Thanks, mom. Moms are pretty much the heart counter of every single old player. Oh, of course. You, that you or your work. animal. Yeah, that or your animal. Exactly. I mean, in your case especially. Uh, yeah. Some might think, well...